As you know, differential controllers respond to differences in pressure, or temperature, or other physical conditions. Differential thermal controllers respond to temperature. They activate pumps when collector temperature is greater than storage temperature. When heat is available, the pump turns on. When heat is not available, the pump turns off. A relay is used to transfer power to the pump, but the life expectancy of a relay is limited in the same way people have a limited number of steps. Rapid on-off cycles are known as chatter. Slow chatter occurs when the latch circuit on the controller is inadequate. Fast chatter occurs on PV-powered systems without battery backups or without pump startup protection. Here is a simple differential controller without any chatter control. This op-amp circuit is overly sensitive to changes in temperature. The inverting input is set at 2.5 volts. The non-inverting input is set by the temperature differences between the two thermistors. If collector thermistor C is hotter than storage thermistor S, the output goes high because the resistance of the NTC thermistor decreases with temperature. When storage temperature S is higher than collector thermistor C, the op-amp goes low. If both thermistors have the same temperature, the non-inverting input voltage would be half the supply voltage, or 2.5 volts. Do you think both thermistors would ever be at the same temperature? The likelihood of having two thermistors with the same temperature is very slim. It would be like balancing a marble on the head of a pin. This op-amp is used as a comparator. So, the slightest variation from 2.5 volts drives the output either high or Batter. low. Uh, now, the first thing we want to do is, is set the threshold voltage. So, I'm going to move this probe over here to the... This is the negative input of the op-amp. Actually, this is a quad op-amp, but we're only going to be using one of the op-amps. So, you can see right now the voltage is set at 2.5, but that can be adjusted. See, now it's 3.13, 2.10. Anyway, for our purposes, we're going to just set it at 2.5. That'll be half the uh, supply voltage, which is 5 volts. Now, it, it varies a little. It, there's no such thing as an exact uh, voltage or exact anything. But that's close enough for our purposes. Uh, we'll, we'll call it 2.5 volts. All right, so this is the threshold voltage, and this is set on the negative input of the op-amp. Now, what we want to do now is we want to look at the common junction voltage that goes into the positive input of the op-amp. And this is controlled by the thermistors. We have the collector thermistor here and the storage thermistor here. So if we increase the temperature of the collector thermistor, the resistance will go down and the voltage will go up on the common junction. So let's see what happens. I'll put my finger on, on this collector thermistor. And you can see the voltage going up. It's 2.49, 2.5. As soon as it goes above 2.5 volts, the light comes on, which indicates that the, uh, the pump would be on under normal circumstances. Okay, when I take my finger off, it cools down. It goes below the 2.5 volt threshold and it goes off. So, you can see that it comes on, off, on, off, on, This is known off. as slow chatter. And this is not a desirable thing to, uh, for your uh, relay, because uh, your relay only has so many cycles. I mean, it's in the millions, but you don't, you don't want it, your pump coming on and off all the time. So, you want it to be uh, locked in, in, in place for a certain period of time. And in order to do that, we're going to need a feedback resistor. 
and we'll, we'll talk about that next. Fortunately, the problem can be remedied with a simple feedback latch circuit. In this example, a 100K resistor connects the output of the op-amp to the non-inverting input. The feedback resistor adds extra voltage to this input and keeps the controller on until the storage thermistor temperature increases enough to lower the plus input voltage below the threshold. Remember the threshold voltage has been set already to 2.5 volt and this is done with the differential adjustment potentiometer. Okay, we now know that slow chatter occurs in the absence of a latch circuit. Fortunately, this problem is easy to fix with positive feedback. So, we'll be using a 200,000 ohm feedback resistor to fix this slow chatter problem. Now, 200,000 ohms may sound like a lot of resistance, and it is, but we don't need much feedback for the, uh, the latch to take place. As you can see, the threshold voltage Let's take a look at our threshold voltage. Remember this is on the inverting input. The threshold voltage is still 2.5 volts. How about the voltage on the non-inverting input tied to the common junction? Let's move this over a little. We'll take a look at the non-inverting input and that's 2.36 volts. Now we'd expect that to be very close to 2.5 volts if there was no feedback resistor. Uh, but it's uh, 2.36 volts when the output of the op amp is low. Why is this? If you think the output voltage is pulling the input voltage down, you are right. Now, let's see what happens when we add a little heat to the collector thermistor. All right, you can see the voltage going up on the, the non-inverting input. And once it crosses that threshold of 2.5 volts, the LED should come on, and it did. It just came on. And notice the voltage jumped up to 2.59 volts. It was just as it crosses that threshold. Now you're seeing the voltage drop down because the collector thermistor is cooling off. So this is basically how it works. This is how latch circuits prevent slow chatter. Okay, in just a second that light should come off when it goes a little bit lower. And now you see how it jumped down to 3.38 volts. This is the basic nature of a latch circuit.